One of the technologies that is now widely applied to motorcycles is keyless technology. Keyless is an innovation of electric ignition, where we no longer need to plug the key into the hole. So, is this keyless really that useful on a motorcycle, or does it actually make things more troublesome? Let's discuss it together. Keyless technology on motorcycles is applied because of the anger of motorcycle theft cases. In fact, the stolen motorcycles are indeed locked motorcycles. It turns out, motorcycle thieves use special keys that can break all types of locks. Realizing that this keyhole is a problem that causes motorcycle theft, some motorcycles produced now no longer use keyholes. That's what we call keyless technology. The shape of the ignition key on a motorcycle that uses keyless is similar to the knob on a gas stove. So, to turn it on, we simply turn the knob or button to the on position. After that, the motorbike can be started. Then, what makes this keyless not easy to break into? So, a motorbike that uses a keyless even though it doesn't have a keyhole, this motorbike still has a physical key. But, the shape of this key is similar to a remote. This key functions as an identifier. So, in a keyless system, there is something called a transmitter. This component functions to transmit waves with a certain frequency. Then, on the motorcycle, there is a receiver. This is a tool for receiving waves. The relationship between the motorcycle and the remote is like a puzzle. When the wave emitted by the transmitter matches the wave set on the motorcycle's ECU, it will tell the ECU that the key matches. So, when we turn the knob to ignition, it will turn on the motorcycle. However, when the wave emitted by this transmitter is not right, the ECU will not recognize it as the original key of the motorbike. So at that time, we cannot turn the switch, and the motorbike is impossible to start. Well, this remote is indeed specially made, because even though the motorbike is the same, the wave emitted by these two remotes is different. So there will be no wrong key when there is the same motorbike nearby. This is the advantage of this keyless system. By utilizing the frequency of waves as an identifier, it will be very difficult to duplicate. So, even though there is another transmitter tool besides the key, it does not necessarily match the wave set on the ECU. In addition, starting the motorbike is much faster. Before reaching the motorbike, we turn on the remote. After that, just put the remote in your pocket, then turn the knob or button and turn on the engine. No need to bother inserting the key into the hole again. In addition, this remote also has a finder feature. So if the motorbike is parked, you just press the Find Vehicle button. With a distance of about 4 meters, the motorbike will respond with an alarm sound and the usual turn signal. But, besides the advantages, of course, there are disadvantages. This transmitter, to be able to transmit waves, needs electrical energy. This energy comes from the battery. So, the condition of the battery here must be ensured that it still has power. What happens if the battery runs out? The transmitter will not be able to transmit waves. So, the receiver on the motorbike will not receive waves either. That makes the ECU immediately turn off the engine and all the motorbikes electrical, and the motorbike can immediately stall. So, it's different from a mechanical ignition key that just needs to be plugged in. We have to pay attention to the battery power of this keyless key. If necessary, provide a spare battery to overcome when the remote battery suddenly runs out in the middle of the road. Then, this remote is also sensitive to impact. So, this transmitter goes into an electronic device. And if this device is hit, it can be damaged. If it is damaged, it will not be able to transmit waves. Or, even if it can transmit waves, the waves emitted can change. That makes the motor unable to be turned on. So, if your motorbike uses a keyless, make sure to put this remote in a safe place. Don't let it fall. When this remote is damaged, it can't be replaced just by replacing it. 
because the remote must first set the wave so that it fits the receiver on the ECU. And it must be done at the authorized workshop because the one who has access to the frequency of this keyless wave is at the authorized workshop. In conclusion, keyless technology does offer motorcycle security from theft. However, the consequence is that we have to do extra treatment so that this key can still be used. Thanks for watching.